Conservative MP at the centre of the Westminster Honeytrap scandal, has resigned from his position as Vice Chairman of the Backbench 1922 Committee. Last week, William Ragg admitted to sending his colleagues' phone numbers to someone he met on a dating app. Well, our political correspondent, Alicia Fitzgerald, joins us in the studio alongside former Home Office Minister Norman Baker, joining us down the line. We'll start with you, Alicia. This won't be the last resignation we see over this scandal, will it? Well, it might potentially actually be the last resignation we see. Obviously, there are a couple of other MPs who are allegedly involved in this scandal. Um, but lots of people feel like it might just blow over mm. over the next few days. I mean, now that William Ragg has stepped, st uh, stood down from his positions within the Conservative Party, it now seems as if the government might have some power in just making this go away a bit more. They've accepted his apology. Everyone seems to kind of be moving on a little bit. That's not to say that there won't still be pressure for the other MPs involved to kind of come forward and, and, and talk about their involvement in it. But I, I don't necessarily think we will see more resignations. Norman, have you ever been uh, uh, targeted on a honey trap? <laughs> Um, what a question. Uh, not, in, not, 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 not in that way. But let me just say, first of all, about, uh, about William Ragg, who actually has been quite a good MP in many ways uh, in his public role. You know, if, if an, M an MP is entitled to private life just as much as anybody else's, and if he wants to share a personal photograph with somebody else, that's not a crime. Well, but you were a Home what, Office of Minister, Norman. Uh, you were a Home Office Minister, and you know that if you're in that position, if you are an MP, if you're someone who's uh, a public figure, you're going to be vulnerable if you start sending explicit photos, uh, e even if well, they are in an entirely you're... private capacity. Uh, you are vulnerable, but it's not wrong to do that in the sense that you're entitled to a private life. I mean, where he's gone wrong, William Ragg, in my view, of course, has been to share uh members phone numbers with this this unknown person and that's clearly very unwise and inappropriate and the basic learn lesson of blackmail is that when someone tries to blackmail you they don't stop they come back for more so that's where he's gone wrong and as alicia said it may be the end of the the end of the road because you know unless other mps have also shared numbers there's no crime being committed Mm. Although and the police are looking into this, aren't they? Yes, they are. And Alicia, I was going to ask, um, what do we know about the people behind this? We know that their aliases were uh, both Abby, mm -hmm. uh, presumably female, and Charlie. Uh, and two of those uh, aliases, sorry, Charlie was used as both a male and pretended to be a female as well. But what do we know about the people behind it? So at the moment, not very much. And I think that's the thing that people are really, really trying to f figure out more about. I mean, lots of people are saying it could be a foreign actor, it could be a malicious state trying to compromise the government and trying to compromise senior members of parliament uh, into getting more information out of them. But then lots of people are just saying it would be a very, very odd move for someone, say, like China, um, to go down this route and to do that. So lots of people say maybe it's just someone messing around and having a bit of a joke. Not a very funny one, admittedly, but lots of people are saying that as well. And we just don't know who these numbers belong to. They were The numbers were actually generated through this website that you can pay a small price to get a non-traceable number. Um, uh, it's basically a cheaper way than getting a new SIM card for your phone. So that's how those numbers were created. So it's really, really hard to trace who they go back to. Goodness me.